A couple of words on navigation. The watch has two buttons. Briefly pressing the cell key, I'm going to move forward one step in the menu. Briefly pressing the S key, I can recede one step in the menu. The menu is circular, so after a certain number of clicks, I will find myself in the first screen. Long pressing the cell key, I'm going to enter the feature, and long pressing the cell key, I'll activate the feature. The activation of a feature always comes with a confirmation beep. Long pressing the ESC key, I'm going to exit the feature. This is always true on the surface and during a dive. Now let's see the main menu. Briefly pressing the cell key, I find the chronometer, the countdown timer, the mode set, the logbook, the dives recorder, the dive set, where I'm going to set the parameters concerning the dives. So alarms, level of protection, etc. We'll learn about that in detail later. The time set, where we can adjust date, time, second time, alarm. And the system menu, where it is possible to link external devices, change the unit of measurement, see data about serial, see the serial number, etc. Pressing again, I'm going to the pre-dive screen. And pressing once again, I'm going back to the home screen. The watch is always ready to dive, but if I want the watch to be ready now, I just press the S key and the watch will be immediately ready because in this case it will check for the depth level every half of a second.